This is another wild thing. Yeah. So USA Gymnastics held on to 54 complaint files on sexual abuse. So they basically had these abuse files stuffed in a drawer, literally like a file cabinet. And Stephen Penny, who was the president of USAG, while this is all happening, USAG's USA, uh, USA Gymnastics, he didn't report the complaints if they were not signed by a parent or victim. So Olympians and other people that overheard conversations would go forward. There would be kind of rumblings going on. There were 54 complaint files on sexual abuse. And Stephen Penny, the president, would not report these to the police or the FBI because a parent or victim didn't sign this. And and to yeah, me, that's to me, so that's absurd. I know there are rules that go along with these things. But like if you're a, if you're a, the president of USA Gymnastics and you overhear a, two girls talking about how the trainer's been touching them weird and you yeah. don't file it because they haven't signed the complaint or maybe they don't want to sign the complaint. Yeah, they because, feel embarrassed. Yeah, th then, and that's the whole point of the documentary Athlete A is that Maggie Nichols, the, the girl who originally spoke up about this, she came forward as Athlete A. She didn't want to share her name. So you, you may not want to come out against gymnastics because you're trying to get to the Olympics. You're, you're trying to also further your own career. So I would understand people not wanting to sign the complaint and, and file these complaints in case it becomes public. And so it's, it seems really absurd. And then Indy Star uh, released the story. Like they, they released a story about USA Gymnastics, the whole failure to report abuse in 2016. And then when that story came out three women who didn't know each other at the time came forward to indie star it was uh, rachel den hollander jamie dancher and jessica howard they saw the story that uh there was evidence of files uh not being reported to police sexual complaints not being uh, reported to police sexual abuse and then three women who who didn't know each other didn't train together didn't uh like weren't friends they all came forward separately to the indie star and said, yeah, like this happened to me. And that, that was kind of the, the beginning of what happened is, is that there, there were, the, the Indie Star article was, was released, I, I believe it was September, 2016. And then we're gonna backtrack a little bit to Maggie Nichols because Maggie Nichols actually came out before all this. She was a USA gymnast. Um, she came out separate to the story, but Indie Star reported uh, that there was shit going on with USA Gymnastics. Three more gymnasts came forward, and then that opened the floodgates for hundreds more women coming forward. That's like Dana. Like that's like a that's like Dana White being the CEO of UFC, and then a, a fighter assaulting like like a ring girl, and then him saying, "All right, unless she signs this document, this didn't happen." And I'm just gonna throw it in my uh, Manila folder here in my office. No, that's yeah. crazy. So it, uh, I, also, you don't like the victim doesn't always willingly. Uh, I think the victim, yeah, is embarrassed, and they don't want to necessarily be the one to come forward. That's why it takes so much time for them sometimes to come forward because they're not ready to admit what happened to them. It just kills their ego and their sense of dignity because they, they, they've just been taken advantage of. Yeah. So they're just like, what the fuck just happened to me? Well, they I, don't want to. They don't want to immediately be like, okay, I was assaulted by Larry Nassar, and everyone's like, why didn't you say it one day after it happened? Well, because, yeah. because no, it's, I I used to be more in that mindset yeah. where I I thought that a person or a woman, whoever it was, the the sooner you came forward with the allegations, the more likely it was to be true. And so uh, when the Me Too movement came out and people, uh, especially women, were coming out with stories of abuse that happened like 17 years ago, in my head, I, I thought, you know, why, like, if this happened, why not say something at the time? Yeah. And my view has drastically changed on that, where I, I've heard stories of women come forward. I've, I've heard, you know, like all the pain and the, the trauma that can be a huge obstacle in you coming forward about something that happens like that. And I, I don't know. It's yeah. nothing like that has ever happened to me. So I know my own brain kicks in and, and I think back to sports a lot where I'm like, I had a problem. 
if I don't speak up about this problem, nothing's going to change. So if you want this to change, speak up. Why are you waiting even a day to tell someone about it? If it really happened, you would tell someone about it. And there's a quote from Rachel, uh, Rachel Den Hollander, one of the original athletes that came forward. She said, quote, I didn't know a lot when I was 15, but one thing I did know was that abuse victims aren't treated well. They are mocked, they are questioned, they are blamed, and they are shamed. Yeah. And that does incredible damage to the healing process. I wish I could have dealt with it 16 years ago. I don't think I could have, but I can now. So you're also a teenager, and you might not have the capacity to emotionally process and communicate something like, you know, this this Larry Nassar's finger blasting these girls they, they on might the not table. have fully processed it they might not have even known it was 100 percent incorrect that's yeah. how young they were they might have just been like okay this is a really invasive procedure you know and th- it's so bad because larry nasser took advantage of their age yeah. and probably they were probably like oh they'll just there are false accusations that happen like with you know the duke class uh, yeah, or duke the, lacrosse. The, the duke lacrosse like it, it does happen but and it's weird because like when there's something that uh, occurs with like an accusation that it's not really correct, but you almost have to start off being skeptical in order to look at the evidence. But in this case, uh, obviously like everything occurred and this guy was crazy. So you're right. Like uh, people, people just don't immediately come forward on things like this. 